Today, I'm going to show you the best play to start off the year in Madden 22. It is going to be a one-play touchdown against cover three. It's going to be a one-play touchdown against cover two. It's going to be a one-play touchdown against man, and it is absolutely fire. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. And if you like tips like this, hit that notification bell. So many more coming as we go throughout the year. With that said, though, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, I'm going to start off by just kind of walking through which playbook I'm in, what play I'm talking about. So I'm currently in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook, but this play is in almost every playbook in the game. It's not in every playbook, but it is in almost every playbook in the game. And all you need to do is have some type of bunch formation or some type of gun bunch offset also actually works. So we're looking for the play verticals. Verticals a uh, number of years ago is the best play in the game. Again, it is very good this year, but for a completely different reason. So it is going to absolutely torch cover three for a one play touchdown. Same with cover two, and it will beat man as well. So we're going to go into gun bunch verticals here. And on defense, we're going to start with cover three sky out of the Lions playbook here. Now, I will say the one thing that you need, the only criteria to make this play work is you need to be running your bunch towards the wide side of the field. So you'll see here, I've got the ball stationed on the left hash mark, okay? And our bunch is towards the wider side, so where there is more grass, more field. That's what we want to do. It's the only criteria you need for this to be a cover three beater, a cover two beater, everything. So... Any, this will beat any cover three in the game, just for the record. But what we're going to do, one simple adjustment, literally one adjustment, and you do not need Hot Route Master for it, we are going to streak our B receiver. That's it. You now have a one-play touchdown against cover three. Now, I'm going to block my running back just to get extra time here, but we are going to keep our eye on the deep third in the middle of the field. Once that B receiver reaches a certain point, that deep third is going to turn around, then we can throw the ball. So here we go, snap the ball. Kyler Murray is going to drop back. Look at the deep third in the middle. He turns his back. Now we've got an easy one-play score for an easy, easy touchdown against cover three. This is the part of the video where I always like to jump in quickly and remind you, if you want to take your game to the next level, head over to winmadden.com. Madden 22 eBooks are coming out soon, and you can get access to all of them by becoming a premium member. Memberships start at $7.99 a month, cancel anytime. But for a limited time, we're having a preseason sale that gives you access to all of our eBooks all year long for $39.99. If you're tired of losing and you want to start winning, head over to winmadden.com today. I'll run it one more time. I'll show you what we're looking for here. And again, streaking B, you are now good to snap the ball. You have your option of putting your running back on some type of in route, curl route, doesn't matter. Do whatever you want with them. Keep them on an option route. Keep them on a block and release. Doesn't matter. I'm going to block them just to get us extra time in practice mode here. We're going to snap it. You're going to see once that deep third turns his back, you can now pass lead that straight to the right or straight up for a bullet pass, one play score against cover three. Easy, easy, easy. And I do want to just show you real quickly what read you're making here. Um, and it's really not a difficult read either. Now, if you know your opponent's a cover three user, this is the guy you're looking at. He's, his responsibility here is the deep third in the middle of the field. What do I mean by deep third? This person over here has one deep third responsibility, cover three. This person has the middle third, cover three. And this person has the right third. They're all going to be running deep, covering their third of the field deep. But on this play, for whatever reason, once this guy reaches a certain point, he turns around. Once he turns around, you can throw this ball Easy one play score, touchdowns all day. Now, I said this also works against cover two. Let's go to cover two real quickly. All right, now we're going to go up against cover two. Now, if you don't want to make any changes, you don't have to. This is actually just a huge gain against cover two as well. And you're going to see DeAndre Hopkins just get wide open because the deep halves play nothing in cover two. We don't have to make any adjustments. We're just going to snap the ball. And he's just going to beat that easy bullet pass. One play score against cover two. I mean, it beats cover three. It beats cover two. It beats everything. So the only thing you have to worry about there is if they're playing a Tampa two and they don't have zone drops on, you might get bumped. So you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. You need to rely on pass protection. Sometimes they will be in a soft squat. If they're in a soft squat, that could get matching responsibility. So you need to have just something going towards that side of the field. So I like, if I know they're in a cover two, I do like to put this... Uh, running back either on an out route or 
a um, table route to the left side of the field just to draw down that hard flat, soft squat, curl flat that the outside cornerback on the left could be pulling down. A little bit of an advanced tip there, but something you want to keep an eye on. The other thing is you can actually look at B on the other side of the field as well. He's going to be a one-play score. If you keep him in bounds, just a really, really big gain there too. And then the only other thing I want to show you is this against man, because yes, this beats man as well. All right, so now against man. Uh, first, we're going to talk about man press. Now, if they're running man, traditionally in Madden 20, Madden 21, almost every other Madden leading up to this, you're going to see press coverage. Now, if they are pressing in man, this is a touchdown. Now, if you know they're in man, I would actually recommend audibling to a different play that I will drop an ebook on, but... This will also work, and you can either keep them on their fade route or you can put them on a streak. Either one is going to work. Just man coverage, especially if you've got Jamar Chase, Tyreek Hill, DK Met, just somebody fast on the outside there. It's so hard to guard this, and you can see you just lob this, and you've got a one-play score. DeAndre Hopkins actually dropped that there, but you get the idea. He had him beat. Uh, same thing here. I'm just going to keep him on the fade route. And you're going to see he does just get in front of him, and that's all you need. You just need a step, racket, get up the field, touchdown. So, again, man press, do not press. If you are playing defense in man, do not press. Doesn't matter if they've got a deep half out there. Uh, it will be a score. Now, the other thing you want to look at here is the crossing route is very, very good against man. It will beat it. Uh, we got shedded there, but you get the idea there. The crossing route is very, very good and very hard to defend. Um, all crossing routes this year are just a nightmare, but you can see Christian Kirk just cooks his man there. Huge, huge gain, and especially if you've got some type of route running cam on that wide receiver, he's going to be very, very good. Hard to defend in man coverage, and again, the running back is also just very good if he goes on his option route. You're just going to have this nice gain, really inaccurate pass there, but you get the idea there too. So this beats cover three, it beats cover two, it beats man. Like it's just going to be an all out world beating play. Very, very hard to stop. Probably the best play in the game to start off Madden 22. So if you guys are new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. But like always, win Madden.